When Ford announced the release of the F-150 Lightning truck in 2022, a lot of people were excited about the EV truck. The excitement was so much that many dealerships reported thousands of reservations and orders for the truck. Barely a year later, the CEO of the Dearborn company, Jim Farley, recently announced that the F-150 Lightnings are not selling as much as he had anticipated. What could have caused the switch in reception for the vehicle? Why is the truck not selling as much as it was expected to? And is there anything Ford can do about this problem? Join us as we do a deep dive into the issue of the F-150 Lightning sales and the cause of its decline. To start with, there are loads of reasons and factors that could be responsible for the low sales of the F-150 Lightning EV truck. The underwhelming sales performance of the new truck can be attributed, at least in part, to the crisis of chip shortage. This shortage has had a significant impact on the automotive industry as a whole, and the EV sector has not been immune to its effects. Chips, also known as semiconductors, are the brain power behind the modern vehicles we drive. They're essential components for various functions, including engine control, infotainment systems, safety features, and even charging capabilities in electric vehicles like the F-150 Lightning. When there's a shortage of these chips, it's like trying to run a high-tech orchestra with a limited number of musicians. Things just don't operate as harmoniously as they should. For the F-150 Lightning, the chip shortage has manifested in a few key ways, each of which has contributed to its lackluster sales. Firstly, the shortage has disrupted the production process. Without an adequate supply of chips, it becomes difficult to assemble the trucks in a timely manner. This leads to production bottlenecks and potentially longer waiting times for customers eager to get behind the wheel of the new electric truck. And by extension, these customers get tired of waiting and simply move on to other EV trucks. Secondly, the chip shortage has forced automakers to prioritize certain models over others. Given the popularity of traditional gasoline-powered vehicles and the higher profit margins they often bring, manufacturers might opt to allocate the limited chip supply to these vehicles rather than EVs like the F-150 Lightning. This dynamic not only reduces the number of electric trucks available for purchase, but also sends a signal to potential buyers that the electric options are being deprioritized. Moreover, the chip shortage has had a cascading effect on vehicle features and capabilities. Many modern vehicles, including EVs, rely on a multitude of sensors and software-driven functionalities that are, in turn, reliant on chips. Without an adequate chip supply, automakers might need to make tough decisions about which features to scale back or omit entirely. This could affect the overall appeal of the F-150 Lightning, particularly in a market where consumers have come to expect cutting-edge technology and innovation. Furthermore, the chip shortage has also influenced pricing. When supply is constrained, the law of supply and demand kicks in, often leading to higher prices. In the case of the F-150 Lightning, the shortage of chips could lead to increased production costs, which might then be passed on to consumers in the form of higher sticker prices. This, combined with other factors like potential feature cutbacks, could make the electric truck less attractive to budget-conscious buyers. Apart from the chip shortage crisis, there's another reason that might be responsible for the low sales the lack of adequate infrastructure to support a large fleet of EV trucks. This issue has had a notable impact on the market reception of the F-150 Lightning, affecting both potential buyers' confidence and the practicality of owning such a vehicle. First and foremost, the success of any electric vehicle, including trucks like the F-150 Lightning, is closely tied to the availability and accessibility of charging stations. Unlike traditional gasoline-powered trucks, EVs require reliable and conveniently located charging points to alleviate concerns about range anxiety. If there are limited charging stations, potential buyers might worry about being stranded with a depleted battery during their workday or on a long road trip. This anxiety could lead them to stick with familiar internal combustion engine trucks that have a well-established refueling infrastructure. Moreover, the charging speed and capacity of these stations are crucial factors. If the charging process is too slow or if there are long queues at charging stations, it can deter potential buyers who value the efficiency and convenience of refueling their vehicles quickly. The lack of high-speed charging options could be particularly discouraging for truck owners who rely on their vehicles for heavy-duty tasks, where time is of the essence. The impact of inadequate charging infrastructure extends beyond the initial purchase decision. For many potential buyers, owning an EV truck like the F-150 Lightning involves a shift in lifestyle and routine. Without a robust network of charging stations, potential buyers might be concerned about their ability to integrate an EV truck into their daily activities seamlessly. 
This uncertainty about the practicality of owning an EV truck in their specific region could lead potential buyers to opt for traditional trucks that align more closely with their established routines. Additionally, the cost of installing charging infrastructure at home can also be a deterrent. While many EV owners prefer to charge their vehicles overnight at home, the process requires an upfront investment in a home charging station and potentially electrical upgrades. The lack of available charging infrastructure could exacerbate these cost concerns, making the transition to an EV truck less financially appealing. The Ford F-150 Lightning's lackluster sales performance can also be attributed to a significant extent to the substantial increase in its cost. This shift in pricing has led to a notable number of potential buyers reconsidering their purchase decision, ultimately impacting the truck's market reception and demand. Bartz, an internet sales manager and podcaster at Long MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas, shared insights into this phenomenon. Of the approximately 135 reservations his dealership received, around 40 potential buyers have opted to cancel their reservations. Bartz pointed out that Ford initially attracted a significant pool of interest by advertising the F-150 Lightning as a $40,000 electric vehicle. However, subsequent price hikes have caused many of these interested buyers to withdraw their reservations. This shift in pricing has sparked reactions across social media platforms, where once enthusiastic individuals have expressed their disappointment and canceled their F-150 Lightning orders. Some have opted for alternative electric vehicles, like the Chevrolet Bolt EV, as the new price of the Lightning proved to be too steep for their budget. At the outset, Ford's announcement of the F-150 Lightning for 2022 included a base model priced at $39,975 exclusive of destination fees. This affordable entry point, especially for the base model with a range of 230 miles, garnered significant attention. The larger extended range battery option, providing a 320 mile range, was also initially offered at a price in the range of $65,000. This pricing structure contributed to the surge in interest, leading Ford to close reservations after reaching $200,000. However, the actual pricing of the F-150 Lightning has evolved considerably since its initial announcement. Ford has explained that over the course of two years, adjustments were made due to escalating material costs, marketing dynamics, and supply chain challenges. As a result, the starting price for the base F-150 Lightning Pro model has risen significantly to $59,974. This price increase, amounting to a staggering $20,000 over the originally advertised price, has caught many potential buyers off guard. This substantial jump in price has created a significant hurdle for potential buyers who were initially attracted to the F-150 Lightning's affordability. Bartz noted that the $40,000 price point had drawn a specific segment of buyers who may now find it difficult to justify the higher cost, particularly when faced with payments in the $60,000 range or higher. The impact of these pricing changes is evident in the sentiment shared by Zach Westrom, a sales manager at Granger Ford in Iowa. He highlighted how the frequent adjustments in price have resulted in some buyers being priced out of the market. This, in turn, has affected the conversion rate from reservations to confirmed orders for the F-150 Lightning. With this array of problems impacting the sales of the F-150 Lightning, it remains clear that Ford has a lot to do. Otherwise, the sales of the EV truck may continue to dwindle. For the avoidance of doubt, the sale of the F-150 Lightning is not terrible. It is simply underwhelming and below par, especially given that there were lots of expectations for the truck when it was announced. It is now up to Ford to salvage the situation as soon as possible. What do you think Ford can do to salvage the situation and improve the sales of its EV truck? Make your thoughts known in the comments section, and don't forget to subscribe and like the video to see more content.